welcome back. We are sitting here with Danny Boylan, the chef and founder of CE Saute, and now the author of An Inappropriate Amount of Butter. So if that title doesn't get you, frankly, I'd be happy with a journal that had that title on the cover and a bunch of black pa blank pages inside. <laughs> and even if you at that point told me to just put in my own favorite recipes, I would be inclined to start with everything I've ever eaten that has an inappropriate amount of butter. Yeah. What a great title. Thank you. And congratulations. This is exciting. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a very interesting and fascinating time for me to, it wasn't until the, the solitude of the quarantine period that I finally had both the time and the forced uh, quiet to make this happen, but I'm really glad I got, got to do it. It's exciting. So seriously though, why, when I say this, it's very literal, why share your secret sauce? Why, why a cookbook? What, what does it profit me to, keep, to gather all this information and not share it? Mm -hmm. The brownie recipe that I've worked on for 12 years that I wouldn't share with anybody, if I died with it, then how does it help the world? The, the book is, is a collection of recipes and kind of a system of cooking of things that I figured out along the 14 years that I've had this personal chef service that need to be shared with other cooks, need to be shared with other chefs. And I'm not saying that everyone needs to follow it, but I'm, I'm glad that the information's out there somehow. That's super. And I have to tell you, your, your cookbook, not only is it beautiful, Thank you. It is a journey and it's a wonderful story. And I'm one of those crazy people who reads cookbooks as a novel. Mm -hmm. I just, it's entertainment and not only entertainment in that way, it's a journey for me through a culture or through an experience or through someone else's eyes. And it really is, you know, the Anthony Bourdain story of going around the world via the food and, and learning from you. But from your book, I really felt like you elevated my kitchen and then you were elevating me into the ability to do this, that, that there were aspects that I thought were, oh my God, I could never do that. But, oh wait, I don't have to do it that way. Right. I can do it this way. So, so how did you come up with the philosophy of how to, you know, what to include and how to tell your stories so that they could be reader friendly? The philosophy of the book is similar to the philosophy of my company, which is figure out the single best way you can make something. No caveats, no, no qualifiers, just what is the best way to make any given thing? Do that, keep doing that, keep improving on that. And when I got to the point of putting all, putting all together in this book, it was, I selected the recipes based on a, what would be a first draft if I had to write a, a menu that would be cook for my life or cook for my wife. So if my <laughs> life's on the line, or the woman of my dreams is gonna decide whether she's gonna marry me based on one meal, only the recipes that would be at least in the first draft of that menu got included in the book. Amazing. And then did you invite like all your friends to come taste? Did they love you forever? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually did do some of that. When I was doing recipe testing, I could I couldn't, consume enough of the food right. and so sometimes i would just give it away sometimes i would give it give away the food in exchange for donations to charities this was at the some of the darker times of the quarantine where everyone was desperate for connection so if i could raise a little money for this charity by giving away dishes on page 57 and 65 or what have you then that was just a good thing for me. And seeing some people from, from a distance and chatting from six feet away for five minutes, that was a good thing for both of us. So yes, my friends did get to consume a lot of the food that's in the book. But mostly it was, it was a nurturing exercise for you and for the community. It was, and one of my friends, a fellow named Adam, he gave me, the kindest thank you note I received during the entire quarantine period. And it was, thank you for never letting me forget what great food tastes like. Oh, that's super. I know yeah. now you get teary eyed and it's all like, oh my God, it's taking me back. So 
take us on a little journey through the book. Give me your five favorite recipes that are in the book that that someone could actually make easily right off right off the bat. Well, the book begins with kind of a system of cooking. And I tell the story of how I got to that system, which is to say, I start everything with roasted garlic and leeks and shallots and red onions. So a lot of the recipes aren't standalone. They build upon that basic and they build upon the basic of, I'll teach you how to make bacon on page 23. I'm going to reference it again on page 65 and page 84. And I'm not going to teach it again. Mm -hmm. So there, so some of the recipes are standalone. Most aren't. Most are building upon the philosophy. So if I were to talk about something that's one of my favorite recipes in the book and that does stand on its own, it's, it's about how to make fancy, fancy popcorn. It's a, <laughs> it's a black truffle and white cheddar popcorn. But this is very symbolic of the book because I'm not really talking about the popcorn. I'm talking about the popcorn maker uh, that helps you make the best popcorn. And the popcorn maker is like, for me, it's a favorite book. The favorite book that you've read a whole bunch of times and you bought for other people a bunch of times too. And I explained that for people who like popcorn, this particular popcorn maker is that kind of favorite book. I've given away so many of these popcorn makers. I've probably bought 12 over the course of the last 20 years. Oh because I'll just give it away. And that's kind of the way the book, that's the, I guess the conceit of the book. I tell a story to introduce a lot of recipes. And so I'm telling the story of both the favorite book that you give away a lot and this culinary tool that I give away a lot. And then I tell you how to use it to make this popcorn. So that's one of my favorite recipes. And you asked me for five, but I'm sorry. That's I, I okay. went on yeah. one, yeah. one is great because it's the perfect one. And, and we all have that favorite book and yes. we all have that favorite gift that we know every time we give it, it's so well received and so appreciated. And, and really we just love giving it. So yes. I'm, attempted to ask you about the popcorn maker, because for me, a popcorn maker is a giant pot that belonged to my aunt <laughs> and just the right amount of oil in the base to get started. But that said, rather than give away your, your secret popcorn maker, um, what I do want to say is that your cookbook is, is a feast for the eyes and also a really wonderful story that that helps us understand as the reader that we can do something that might appear hard on its face because delicious food is not easy for everyone. It's actually not easy for most people. And half of us or more don't really know what that is unless someone else makes it. And I know sometimes food just tastes better when somebody else makes it. Yeah. But what I love is that you address the young chef like someone who might actually want to be a chef as a career in the future. You speak to the home cook, that would be someone who just wants to make yeah. good food fast or you know, for my family. And, and then the opportunity, like I said, to elevate all of us into that all the possibility. And, and I really encourage our viewers to go out and find a copy of inappropriate and inappropriate amount of butter which will also teach you how to make bacon. So between butter and bacon, man, you just can't, you can't beat the book. So everything's going to be better. And look up Danny Boylan at cesauté.com, right? Yes, that's the company website. And the book website is appropriatebutter.com. Perfect. So we dropped the inappropriate and we're just going for appropriate. Yes. So we'll put both of those up on the screen and we'll also have the links available for our viewers and the book will be available by the time you actually see this show. So I hope you'll run out and get it. Danny, thank you so much for joining us. And I know we're gonna be back for an actual cooking segment. So stay with us and we'll be right back.